All right, so I just wanted to talk about this story that's kind of circulating right now around college football, and it looks like college football is trying to be like the NFL again. It says college football leaders are moving closer to recommending clock rule changes meant to reduce plays in games for safety and game length reasons. According to sources, under one proposal gaining wide support, the clock would run after a first down. Of course, this is one of the really unique things about college football, having more scoring, having more plays, having more yardage per game. This is why we love college football. The clock stops for a few seconds after first down, And I know, guys, we we all see new things and we're immediately against them. That's our human nature. But this seriously is so dumb. And really, let's just call it what it is. Because actually in the article, you can see average game length in terms of the FBS. You want to know why it keeps getting more and more? And it's, it's like five minutes more or whatever. This is not even a story. It's like... The, the only reason it, it would be more is because of that sham Big Noon, which jams about 90 commercials, and you've got a Michigan-Iowa game that kicked off at like 12.05 Eastern, finishing at 3.52, and the final score is like 30 to 20. Like, the, the real reason the games are getting longer, if you want to cut the game time, Cut the commercials. That's what you should be cutting. You should not be cutting the actual thing that makes college football unique. And that's a big sticking point. I do not want them changing it to where after a first down, the clock auto runs just like the NFL. That should not be under consideration. And, and I mean, listen, it goes from 316, 316, 321, 318, 321. Cut out the big noon. It's probably back down to like 314. But they have to jam 90 commercials when we're trying to watch Ohio State bludgeon Maryland or whoever. But that was a that was a low blow at Maryland. Maryland actually didn't face Ohio State this year on big noon. They actually played a really good game against Ohio State. But uh, looking at this article, or this is another tweet, you can see these are the four main proposals that are under consideration. And two of these are perfectly fine, but they really won't affect much. So the first one, prohibiting consecutive timeouts, i.e. icing the kicker. That's fine. That is completely fine. No untimed downs at the end of the first or third quarter. That will have zero effect on 99% of the games. There, if you watch college football, you watch the NFL, very rarely do you have a situation where there's an untimed down at the end of a quarter, and the whole idea is, I believe if there's like a penalty with zero seconds left, they'll do an untimed down at the end of the first and third quarter. Obviously, you have to have untimed downs at the end of halftime, or the first half, and the end of the game, but that's perfectly fine. First and third quarter, that doesn't affect really anything. And then here are the two big ones. Like we said, the clock runs after first downs except inside of two minutes in the half, which I am against. And then how about this one? Clock runs on incompletions once the ball is spotted. Bro, what are you talking about? Come on. So the idea is, let's say a team kicks off to another team. It's a touchback. First and 10 at the 25. 15 minutes left in the first quarter. You're going to tell me the quarterback drops back to pass, throws an incompletion. There's like 14 minutes, 55 seconds left. Once you spot the ball, the clock runs for like 10 seconds after that. And like, dude, this is so... Like, really? They're that desperate? All right, let's look at this article. High-ranking college football leaders have been reviewing four specific changes to clock rules, two of which are considered non-controversial, which I would agree. One has garnered wide support. Oh, great. And a fourth that has left some divided. The non-controversial proposals include prohibiting consecutive timeouts, icing kickers, no longer extending first and third quarter for an untimed down if the quarter ends on a defensive penalty, Uh, While those are considered to be incremental changes that will save only a fraction of time, the other two proposals are more significant. In a third proposal that is garnering wide support, the clock will continue to run after an offense gains a first down except inside of two minutes and a half. 
In a more controversial fourth proposal, the clock will continue to run after an incomplete pass once the ball is spotted for play. So let's just play arena football then. I mean, seriously? While the changes would be implemented this fall, they are several weeks away from final approval. It later says, however, many officials involved in the process expect at least a portion of the proposals to pass, something that did not happen last year during a similar exercise. So, I mean, obviously those two that we were talking about that really didn't make a change, if those two pass, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the big issue is the third one that apparently is getting wide support where they're basically making college, ma you know, making college the NFL, where after a first down, the clock keeps going, which is so dumb. We want more plays. We want more action. That's what college football is all about. And then the fourth one, which is just completely ridiculous, which would... You know, after an incompletion, when the ball gets spotted, they do a running clock. This is like, uh, this reminds me of like playing third grade basketball where after a foul call, the clock runs. I mean, it's just so ridiculous. But these people are so greedy and so obsessed with money, they won't admit that the real reason the college football product sucks now is because we're sitting through two hours of commercials trying to watch Michigan against Iowa. That's the real reason why college football... Oh, but no, we can't touch the commercials. We can't touch the time in between when the kickoff happens to actually getting the offense on the field because we need more money. So let's actually ruin the sport even further by changing it and making it like the NFL. And then you know what? On top of that, we're going to make it an arena level peewee level where we're just going to have a running clock no matter what because we want to cut down on the time and you know what now with a running clock we can actually have more commercials because the game's going to go faster and there's going to be less plays that gives you know big noon i mean big noon can go and fit a whole super bowl ad in there they can do like a super bowl that's what that's big noon's next big plan they're going to do a super bowl halftime that takes up 40 minutes and we're going to try and sit through a halftime show that's 40 minutes long Meanwhile, we're sitting there and Ohio State is beating Northwestern by 25 and it's like, what is this? This is a joke. You gotta, st I mean, this is just like, I, I don't know. It's three hours. Is that really that long? You know, I, like I, I, I understand people complain and listen, I'll be one. I was one of the persons that complained about the length of the game. I never once said, gee, you know what? Let's just have running clocks. What I said was when Fox decides to do a kickoff, cuts to commercial, comes back out. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. This is what they do. This is what Fox does. Someone scores a touchdown, right? Uh, you know, kick the extra point. They go to commercial after the touchdown. The kickoff happens. They go to commercial right after the kickoff. So you're back-to-back -back commercials, and then you're wondering... Let's no, you know what? Let's just ruin it. It's not it's not the commercials fault. Let's just ruin the game. Let's make it lower scoring. The uniqueness about college football, it's all down the drain with this total crap. But listen, maybe it doesn't pass. I don't know. Uh, you know, the reporter said, you know, it, it's looking like a few of these are going to pass again. You know, Having consecutive timeouts, that's perfectly fine. We don't need, you know, teams taking two or three straight timeouts. There's no need for that. You know, you should only need one. I'm completely on board with that. No untimed downs. I mean, that's that's really not going to affect anything. Let's just call it what it is. I mean, just think back over the past five years. How many untimed downs has your team been involved in at the end of the first or third quarter? It's just really not going to have an effect. So if those two go into place and the other two don't, this is a non-story. We're completely fine. The issue is, he said the third one, which is basically making the college football like the NFL, is getting support. And of course, we need to change college football. No, but let's have our 40-minute timeouts because we need the ad dollars, right? Yeah, and let's just ruin college football more. And, and the thing is, they're going to probably keep doing this and, and just putting more commercials in there so the game's really not going to get shorter. They're just going to force more commercials on everyone as they continue to rake in money. So, 
Uh, this is a radical change that certainly should not even come close to happening. The fact that they're even proposing this shows how out of touch these people really are when it comes to college football. But of course, college football is already a complete mess and a complete joke with the NIL situation. And you've got recruits being offered $13 million, not even five-star recruits, being offered $13 million deals, accepting the deals, and then the NIL Foundation saying, you know what, we actually can't pay you. Uh, you're going to have to, you know, get out of your uh, letter of intent and go to Arizona State. So that's where we're at right now in college football. They want to cut the game time down. Yes, no, you know what, we all want to cut the game time down with less commercials and cut the halftime. That's what you should do. But instead of that, they want to take college football and make it an arena league. And let you know what? Let's just even... How about this? This is my proposal. How about when a college football... When a coach calls timeout, we just let the clock run anyways. That you can take your two-minute timeout, but let's just let the clock run. You know what? Let's just let the clock run no matter what. Then we could fit more commercials in. We could do a whole half. We could have Beyonce come in for a halftime show and have an hour-long halftime show promoting Pe Pepsi Zero or something. That's what we really should do. Um, so, guys, we'll have to see if this ends up going through or not. I would imagine it's not going to go through. I mean, let's hope. But uh, you know, the two that will get pushed through probably, I have no issues with the other two. Let's pray to God. I mean, my the one with the incomplete pass, passes and the clock's still running when they spot the ball, uh, th that's got to be 0% chance that goes through. The other one that, unfortunately, I think might go through is the one where, kind of like the NFL, you know, after you get a first down. Th you know the weird thing about that whole thing? I noticed, at least in the games that I was watching, especially the Big Ten games, it was really only like two seconds anyways. So... Like, a player would get a first down. Let's say there's like 11 minutes, 35 seconds left. You know, they would stop the clock. But then like two seconds later, they would just start it again. So they were barely even doing it, you know. But we still want that clock, that clock stopped. We like the uniqueness. We like the more plays. We like the more scoring. This doesn't have to be NFL. We already know how bad the NFL's product is. And they're so obsessed with keeping their quarterbacks healthy. Because without the quarterbacks, that league is completely a joke. And you get games like 13 to 10. Um, so that's exactly what we don't want. So we'll have to see what happens with these rule changes. I'm going to predict that uh, two of them get pushed through. You know, if I'm being optimistic, uh, if I'm being a little critical and, and being less optimistic, I'll say they also push through the one that they said was gaining a lot of support. So the, the one where, you know, first downs, the clock keeps going. So you know, we'll have to see what happens, but guys, that's just an update on the recent new potential clock rules in college football.